हेलो इंजीनियर्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू सिविल निर्माण वी आर बैक विथ अनदर मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन फॉर द सिंपल फ्रेम नाउ यू माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट व्हाई आई एम मोर एम्फेसाइजिंग ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्मॉल सैम्पल प्रॉब्लम्स सी आई गॉट लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेरीज ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वेर दे इंसिस्ट टू प्रोवाइड दी सैम्पल प्रॉब्लम वैलिडेशन इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ स्टैट इज कैलकुलेटिंग ऑल द रिजल्ट सो करंटली आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग as much as i can to provide you the manual validation and also one of the important thing that in the interview question as well it is one of the most important task which is given to the students or to the candidate in order to work out the values manually okay so it can be asked in the form of uh, any cantilever beam with a point load udl or it can be asked you need a uh, unit to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for the simple beam prop cantilever beam or for a simple portal frame for the point load or udl so that's why these sample problems are also one of the important tasks you need to understand for the manual calculation and in the most important part for the shear force and bending moment diagram right so you can practice different examples and try to identify and draw the shear force and bending moment diagram in order to understand the structure's behavior right so let's calculate this particular frame i have this frame where we need to find out the moment for this particular frame with a udl right i have provided the junction name with a b c d and these are the nodes in stat model with the member number 1 2 and 3 later on we will model this sample frame and apply the load and validate the results right so for this particular frame my load value is 2 kips per feet the length is 20 feet and one important portion is that here e and i that is your modulus of elasticity and i values are same for all members right now see you might have observed this particular equations as well to get the quickly get the values for the simple frames and beams right so we will try to validate this particular frame with this equation uh, you can see the similarity over here right the same notations i have provided over here now uh, see you can check out the bending moment diagram say as it is fixed at the bottom and this is a udl load you have the diagram something like this with the positive and negative moments right now in order to work out the bending moment see it is specified in the data that the members are one by one right it is same and e and i value for the both members are same so you can work out your moment of inertia value easily similarly you can work out your section modulus too right and the area as well now see the equation is pretty simple for moment at all the junctions you have this equation w l square upon 12 into bracket beta e plus 2 now you can observe in all three equations we have beta e common right so here the important values the which is beta and e it is also elaborated see beta is basically the ratio of your inertia for the horizontal member i h means inertia for horizontal member and i v inertia for the vertical member and e is specified as height to length ratio so in order to work out these moment values first of all we need to work out beta and e value then we can put these values over here so that we can get the moment at all these location right now see in the interview part you might not ask to calculate this manually but definitely they will ask you to draw a simple bending moment diagram or the shear force diagram so for the diagram purpose it is very important you can try different loading here i have provided full loading you can go with the partial loading with the point load here here or here so try the same sample problem with the different locations of the load and identify the shear force and bending moment diagram for each different category so that you can able to visualize the force behave the force behavior and able to draw the bending moment and shear force diagram so that is the significance over here now let's quickly switch 
to the calculation part now in order to work out this value first of all we need to work out e and beta so here is the input from the example we have height 20 feet length is similar 20 feet uniform load 2 keeps per feet and moment of inertia for this one by one segment we have 0 0.05 feet square you can calculate it manually too e value i am considering 4.13 into 10 raised to 6 and similarly i have applied this in my start model as material created a separate material for e value so now let's work out quickly uh, the beta portion and e portion so e is ultimately height by l so h by l uh, both the values we have same 20 20 so ultimately e will be 1 right it's simple similarly for the beta as well inertia for horizontal and vertical elements it is the ratio and as we have both the elements with the same size beta will be also 1 right 0 0.05 feet raised to 4 all right so beta is 1 e is 1 now just we need to work out the equation for this and this so that we will be able to calculate the values so let's quickly start for this particular frame so first of all we will work out the reactions at a and e so it is pretty simple wl by 2 and you can get ws2 l is 20 so we'll get the reaction as 20 kips next important point is the horizontal reaction so for the horizontal reaction we have the equation wl square upon 4h beta into e plus 2 so if i put all the values it is simple 2 20 h is 20 again beta and e are 1 right so i'll get the values for the horizontal reaction as well which is 3.33 kips now the moment portion so for the moment part okay so w is 2 l is 20 beta and e are 1 so let's put these values so substituting all the values i am getting the answer for a and e location moment at a here and here i am getting value as 22.22 feet kip similarly we have to work out the moment as this b and d locations right wl square upon 6 beta e plus 2 all right so similarly like this you can calculate this and i am getting value as 44.44 feet kips next part is c now see these two i have already calculated now based on the equation this is your homework you can quickly calculate and tell me in the comment box what will be the moment at location c right now we will verify this moments in stack so let's quickly switch to the stat model i have already modeled this with the load element so let's switch to the stat model so i'll go to the stat part let me just show you the dimensions first of all see one two three four node numbers these are beam numbers i'll show you the dimensions as well now next important point is property and the material right so material as i told you in order to match the sample problem validation whatever the e and i value which we have taken in the example same over here we need to incorporate otherwise it will not match your answer so i have entered and created a new material you can create it from here like the previous example i have entered the e value and the poisons ratio and created this material now if i switch to the property uh, the property which we have already calculated with 0 0.05 inertia so i have entered this value area is one feet square and the material is one so i have just changed the material from here right all right now let's go for the loading part to keep per fit it is already applied you can add it from click here add go to the member load and uniform force here you can enter minus to keep per fit right now see you can check the results in the post-processing mode but additionally if you want to print those results in the output 
As described in the previous example, you can add one additional command print to member forces. So I have added this command after perform analysis print member forces. Right? So we will run the analysis quickly. Right now I'll first show you the values over here in the post processing mode. I'll switch off the display button, I'll turn on the bending moment diagram. See it is the same that we have observed in the example earlier. Right? Now see when you apply different categories of load, you will observe the difference in your diagram. So that's the important part over here in order to understand the different frame behavior. If you do it manually, it will take a lot of time, right? But instead you can do it quickly. So instead of UDL, try with the point load, point load here, point load here, point load at middle frame, point load at the bottom junction. Go with the different load variety options and check the bending moment diagram with your by visualizing, okay? Now by doing this, you just try to visualize how the bending moment or shear force diagram will look for the different categories of load, right? And by doing this, uh, it will be clear your imagination for the force and moment behavior and you will be able to draw quickly for different categories of load. So that's the motif over here. Now see, in, uh, in, the, in the interview part, it might happen that you will be not asked to calculate this detailed equation as these equations are too lengthy but see based on this particular simple loading they will ask you to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram right so that's my initiative uh, and earlier i used to practice like this with the different load conditions try to model instead check out its uh, bending moment its deflection behavior how it will deflect for the different category of load and try to draw it manually draw it manually and then cross validate the diagram with the stat model no need to calculate but this will give you more judgment more about the behavior part of the particular frame you can try with the different support condition as well and that because in most of the interviews this is the basic fundamental which is asked to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for simple frames or beams and students are not able to do it right so try with the different category now let's check out the results so i'll click on the annotate button here i want to check out the beam result let's say midpoint and end right so stat is giving me the answers 44.43 we are getting and here we are getting 22.20 right so it is slightly a difference in star value ultimately whatever we have calculated over here we, we are getting 22.22 over there it is a difference of the decimal point only okay one or two decimal similarly uh, for the see at a and e location we are getting 22.22 and here we are getting 44.44 so the same value i am getting over here right all right so now let's check out the output how it will look so see as we have instructed start to print the member forces it has provided the force table over here and you can check out the moment values the actual force values and the shear values as well so based on this value you can simply draw your shear force diagram and bending moment diagram too right so i hope this helps you out in understanding the structural behavior right i have added one homework for you you need to find out the bending moment at the mid junction manually and tell me in the comment box what will be the answer right though it is already calculated by stad right you can cross validate and tell me in the comment box what is the answer for the moment at this middle junction okay at 10 feet I'll see you in the next video, stay tuned for more such structural engineering updates. And remember, don't just learn software, learn concepts. Thank you so much.